welcome back friends who is ready for some Christmas decorating Hallmark style. I did this last year, so this is very much inspired by my last year's Christmas videos, but we really, I mean, really step it up this year. I'm sitting in my family room looking around at the Christmas decorating that I did in this video, and it is by far my favorite decorating that I've done to date. I'm really into the traditional colors right now, the reds, the greens, the whites, the golds, the Santa Claus, the nativity. Um, we're even going to deck the halls, um, doing the Christmas tree and my shelving. We hit the family room, the entryway, the bathroom. So let's go ahead and get festive. As you saw, I've got my Merry Christmas sweater on in the bright red Santa Claus red, and I feel ready to just deck my house out with all things Christmas and make it feel like a Hallmark Christmas movie. But my favorite place to start out with decorating is always the largest focal point of the room, and that is the fireplace. I did spend some time hanging this garland. This is the Norfolk Pine Garland that is completely viral the last few years. I was able to get my hands on two strands. I kind of played with it, did some layering with some older other garland, and then I just did a swag over the top just to make it feel more full and give it a little bit more volume. And then we're just gonna add this sweet little nativity red bow and add some stockings. Are you guys ready to see my newest addition to Christmas this year? Everyone meet Santa Claus. He is definitely the deal of the day. I picked him up at Home Depot, all thanks to my dear friend, Brittany Blaine here on YouTube. Go check her out. She is literally the Christmas queen. She shared him over on her Instagram and I immediately grabbed my car keys and went to Home Depot. You guys are going to fall out of your chair when I tell you how much he was. He was under $50. So go grab your Santa at your local Home Depot. I will try and remember to link him down below. Tell me one thing, is there any wanted to share today's sponsor so thank you so much to tenco for sponsoring today's video if you guys have never heard of tenco i have shared them a few times here on my channel i absolutely love the brand so i'm really excited to share them with you again but tenco is having a major black friday sale it runs november 17th through the 27th so this means major savings on the tenco s5 and other tenco products which i'm going to be demonstrating the tenco s5 it's a two-in-one wet dry vacuum and it eliminates a lot of extra work like sweeping or vacuuming before you come in and mop this does it all in one swoop i've had my s5 for over a year now and it is still my go-to for cleaning my floors the s5 is a smart two-in-one vacuum and mop you can clean wet or dry tough and sticky hard floor messes in just one pass The setup and maintenance of the S5 could not be any easier. It's very user friendly. This is the dirty water tank. You just unclip it. I usually dump mine into the toilet and flush it away before I put it on the self clean cycle. On the back of the S5, you will find the clean water tank, which I use the Tenco cleaning product with it. And with just one capful, I can basically do my whole downstairs. 
With Tenko's iLoop Smart Sensor technology, there is a blue ring on the LED screen on your vacuum that is blue when the surface is clean and it is red when it's still sensing dirt. I wanted to demonstrate some of the amazing things that the Tenko S5 can clean up. If you guys have kids or pet in your home, this thing can totally defeat pet hair crumbs, goldfish, cereal, and spills. So I'm demonstrating some Cheerios, some sprinkles, and orange juice, and with even just one pass alone, look at this amazing job. The brush roller is designed to glide closely and against baseboards and get into those hard to reach corners. Your floors also become completely dry and streak free within minutes, which was very helpful being I was wanting to lay down rugs on top of a clean surface and didn't have a whole lot of time. Don't miss the amazing savings for Black Friday running November 17th through 27th and grab yourself an S5 and make your life so much easier. I will have a link down below in the description box for you to shop. Whatever we do, we will be all right. Getting back to the decorating, these shelves are always such a challenge for me. Every season I bring in seasonal decor it is seriously kind of a stressful situation for me. I have four of these, they're like six or seven feet. They're huge and I have that times four. So it gets very intimidating when it comes to decorating. So I did a lot of messing around with these off of camera and I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I wanna do, but I think this is gonna be what we're gonna go with this year. Now I do want to run to the store and pick up some greenery picks. I don't want to run a whole garland up here, but I thought of maybe filling in those spaces and gaps with some nice greenery and just using picks would be absolutely perfect. Let me know what you guys think of that. There's a couple things we don't get to in this video, so make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell so you guys don't miss that and you guys can see this all come together and just get a final overview. I also want to take you guys in here at night after dark and just show you how magical it is with the Christmas tree and the fire, the twinkle lights. You guys saw me put that little light up fa la la sign over by Santa and everything is just so magical and cozy at night. But I wanted to show you guys kind of where we're at with the shelves and I will be coming back to this. I'm also going to share a little decorative idea that I'll be doing on the top shelving just to make sure that things don't look super cluttered. The city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents Are still by the tree They don't mean a thing Till he's here with me If you know I took a trip to Hobby Lobby this week and I picked up a few new items and I love that everything Christmas is 50% off. I think I paid less than $10 for this Nutcracker print and he is so beautiful. I love the vintage vibe of him because I am doing my tree very vintage this year and the whole vibe we're going for is definitely traditional. So I loved this. I thought he fit in this space just so perfectly and he brought that pop of red that was just so much needed over here. I also wanted to share that this potted tree that I'm using here and the one you saw me just put by Santa, those are also from Hobby Lobby. Regular price, I think they were like $27.99 and then I got them 50% off of that and they are real touch and they look very real. You have to look twice at it to see if it's real or fake. So amazing, amazing deals at Hobby Lobby and I think there were like three left. I grabbed two and my mom grabbed one and they just add that nice greenery rich um, real look without spending or having to maintain buying like the real garlands or the real trees um, but here we are in my entry space I showed you guys the garland up on the mirror um, again just like the one on my mantle I kind of had to fiddle with it for a little bit I end up using hooks to put it up there and I wanted to spare you guys see me trying to get that hung and figured it out 
um, but I love how this entryway came together. I'm still on the hunt for a new entryway table, but this one does just fine. So with the garland on the mirror, the beautiful little tree, the book with the candle stacked on top, my brass nutcracker from Target last year, and then our last year's Christmas card, I just feel like it was really sweet welcome for anyone that walks the door. We're actually going to come back to this entryway. I'm gonna add one more thing to the mirror, but I have a Target drive up I'm waiting on, so stay tuned. I feel like it is the perfect little addition, and I don't know how I didn't do this over previous years. move on to the famous new chair in here. Thank you so much for all your kind words when I was sharing my videos of this family room makeover. If you guys missed those, make sure you go back and watch. Everything in here is basically brand new from the rug to the couches to this chair. And so many of you are loving the new setup and went just bonkers over this new chair. And I can say now that we've had it for almost a week now, it is so cozy and comfy. We all fight over sitting here, but let's make this chair nice and festive. And also the couches, I'm just kind of using some pillows and throws that I've owned over the year. I think there's maybe one or two new pillows from this year but I'm just gonna kind of come in and layer everything for now. I may tweak some of the pillows and you'll see me kind of fiddle with them a little bit, but for the most part, I think it comes out really cute. I wanted to spend just a few minutes styling this coffee table. I usually overthink this way too much and making it a way more difficult job than it needs to be. So I'm just gonna come in with a little piece of garland, some candlesticks, and then these beautiful classic Christmas coffee table books. They're actually hollow inside, so they are perfect for hiding remotes. Um, and these were just a few dollars. I want to say around like $4.99, $5.99, and I just loved the classic look to them. And then I'm going to stack a beautiful Christmas tree candle on top. I also thought that it looked so high end. I can't believe I found this Christmas tree candle at Ross for just $7.99. To me, it looks way more expensive, like something you would maybe see at Anthropology or Rifle Paper or even like Pottery Barn or William Sonoma. And it was like $8. I could not believe it. And I thought that it just looked so pretty with these classic books just stacked up. And then I'm just gonna kind of fiddle with some garland, add some classic candlesticks, and then call it a day. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. What a sigh, 
Ring the bells loud and clear. Have the reindeers reappear. Take my hand, you promised land. Here we. I know so many of you love seeing Ruger kind of walk around in the background in my videos and I thought he was so cute here. He was just kind of like watching and taking it all in and kind of just curious what I was doing. And so I decided to just kind of like take a break, sit down for a second and love on him. He's just our little special Christmas puppy and he is 11 now. So every Christmas that goes by, I just get so sad hoping that it's not his last Christmas, but he feels good. He looks good. And even though 11 is older for his breed, um, I'm hoping that we get as much time out of him as possible. And he just adds so much to our family. He's just the absolute sweetest. Every night, take my hand, you promised land. We've worked on the entryway and the family room. Let's go ahead and move into the downstairs bathroom. This is right off that main living space. So when we entertain or when we're on the go a lot throughout the day, this is definitely the bathroom that gets used the most. So might as well include it in some of the Christmas festivities, just keeping it very, very simple and sweet. So I'm just gonna add this Merry Christmas sign. I think I paid $10 for it at Target. This little wooden snowflake. I'm trying to even remember where I got that one, probably like Home Goods. Um, and then these really beautiful mercury glass styled trees I got from the Target dollar spot. I think these were $3 each. So $9 each for all three of these, I feel like is not bad because they do light up. So I don't know if I'm gonna come in here and add anything else to these shelves. Like I said, I really just wanted to keep it really simple. I may come add maybe like a candle or something just to make it feel a little bit more cozy and festive and welcoming in here. But for now, I'm just going to simply style these shelves. I'm gonna put out my new soap pump rug and hand towels that I picked up all from Target this year for a really good price. I made sure I got everything on sale and we're just gonna put just a little pop of Christmas in here, keeping it very, very simple since this is a smaller space. Way up high, there's an angel every night. Take my hand, you promised land. something so I found this Santa ornament and I just thought he looks so cute you guys look at his little rosy cheeks I just hung him um he's an ornament so I just used an ornament hook to put him on there but I just think it just adds a little something special to this area I mean it looks so pretty already but I don't know I feel like just drawing the eye up some more it's so, so The other cute. thing I added was Ruger's stocking. Um, I got him a new one this year. Ruger, come here. What is that? Is Santa gonna put a bone in there for you? <laughs> Isn't that so cute, you guys? So I got my three babies here. We got Ruger's, Ryland's, and Colton's. And I love how it's like the white, red, white, and it's just so complimenting. I also started to hang some wreaths up there. I'm using like a special kind of hook. I ordered some more on Amazon. It's supposed to come today. Um, but this will kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm doing here on the top shelf. Let me step back. I'm, I didn't want this area to be super cluttered. So my husband and I came up with this idea. And since this is shiplap, you can put like little 
hooks or wedges here. So that's what we're doing. Um, and I own these three already with the red bows, so we're just gonna do three on that side. And then here's where I'm short. We need more hooks, and then I had to go out and buy three more of the little wreaths. I already have the red bows. But I think it's gonna just simplify the space, make sure it doesn't look over cluttered. So once those hooks come in from Amazon, that's what it's gonna look like. Just one, two, three simple wreaths. While I stepped out to grab my Target drive up, I decided to get some filming fuel and I went through Starbucks and you guys, I scored the Starbucks red cup. They were giving these out for free with your drink orders. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys scored one of these. I got one a couple years ago and it was color changing. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm not sure if it color changes or not like that one, but it is so cute. I also picked up the, let me see if I can get this right. It's the iced gingerbread oat milk chai latte. I think I got that right. I made no substitutions and it was really, really good. Highly recommend it. So I'm just going to be sipping on my iced coffee because we've been filming for quite a while. I know these videos makes it look a lot easier and like it moves by really, really fast, but this is actually like hours and hours of just decorating and that's not even like editing and uploading or anything yet. So I needed a little bit of help before I started this tree. I'm just going to kind of let the music play and we're going to decorate this tree, but I wanted to let you guys know this wooden garland um, is new to me this year. I picked it up at, at home and it was just $6.99 and I think it was for like five or six feet of it and I bought five of them. So we're going very simple, very vintage traditional on here. We're going to do the natural beaded garland with some very vintage looking ornaments um, that I've picked up from TJ Maxx and Home Goods over the years. And they're very, very intricate and detailed. And they looked so pretty on this tree. They have like a very muted gold, a pretty silver, and then like a really nice, rich, deep red. And they they look very pricey. They look so beautiful. So we're just going to use some of these ornaments along with some of my Santa ornaments that I've used several times throughout the years. And then we're going to be adding some beautiful, I believe it's like a chiffon ribbon and just kind of tie some little bows. And then we'll let the twinkling lights of the tree. This tree is from King of Christmas. It's the eight foot King Noble Fur. I will also try and link this down below. You guys, King of Christmas is where it's at. And I loved the vintage, simple look of this tree this year. But somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, bro. That is gonna do it at least for my part one of making my home feel and look like a Hallmark Christmas movie. You guys can comment down below and let me know how I'm doing so far. This is honestly just the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more to do, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. I cannot wait to do some more decorating with you all. And if you guys have any tips or tricks, please send them my way in the comments. Also, do not forget to check out Tenko's Black Friday sale running November 17th through the 27th. I will have them linked down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, friends. Bye!